Lines were drawn today between lawyers and doctors. They're going to go head to head over a ballot measure that would require random drug testing of doctors, but that's not all. NBC Force Conan Nolan is live for us in Pasadena now with what this means for you. Conan. That's right, Chuck. This was a closed door dispute between doctors and lawyers in California. Now it has become public, and there's a potential for it to get ugly and costly. It relates directly to what happens in California's operating rooms, courtrooms, and pharmacies. They lined up with photographs of loved ones who passed far too early. Five days I took her, I called, nothing was done. Anybody tell me if that's not medical negligence? It hurts to this day. Victims they contend of a medical system in need of reform. I'm sorry, it's very hard for me to uh, relive this. Today, amid stories of medical malpractice and overdrug patients, the group Consumer Watch submitted signatures for a ballot measure this fall that, among other things, would require random drug testing of doctors. One in five doctors, nearly one in five doctors, 18% of doctors have a substance abuse problem during their careers. The measure would also require physicians to check a database to make sure patients weren't abusing prescription drugs and would raise the limit or cap on pain and suffering awards in medical malpractice cases, currently limited to $250,000. If you lose a child because of medical negligence, the law says that child's life is only worth $250,000. Doctors and hospitals, along with groups such as Planned Parenthood, are strongly opposed. This measure is really about just increasing uh, trial lawyer fees. It was written by trial lawyers to benefit trial lawyers. They claim the measure is unnecessary, costly, and is badly timed with the rollout of the Affordable Care Act. It's something that they're using a smokes and screen for a bad flaw proposition that increases costs and, you know, obviously by, by increasing costs through the whole system, decreases access for all of us. There was a last-minute effort in the legislature today to find a compromise to forego this ballot measure. It failed, so it goes to the ballot, a battle between two of California's most powerful special interest groups. In Pasadena, Conan Nolan, NBC4 News.